Yeah, the new ban outlaws virtually all abortions, setting the stage for a potential Supreme Court showdown. Alabama's Republican Governor Kay Ivey tweeted out the photo of her signing the controversial abortion bill that does not include exception for rape or incest. All human life is precious. Under the new law, performing an abortion is a Class A felony. Doctors face up to 99 years or life in prison. There is no exception for rape and incest, but unlike measures in other states, it does not punish women receiving abortions. This bill to me appears to be about control. Democratic State Senator Linda Coleman Madison is one of only four women in the 35 member Senate. All 27 Republicans are men. You don't know I hope that don't what happen. you don't know because you've never been pregnant. Mm -hmm. It's the choice of two people. That's right. But it seems like only one is being thrown under the bus here. Motion to table. Make a motion. Chaos erupted in the state Senate last week over an amendment that would have made abortions legal in rape and incest cases. The exception did not pass last night. This is just a shame. This is a disgrace. So far, six states have passed fetal heartbeat bills banning abortions after six weeks before a woman may even know she's pregnant. Similar legislation has been introduced in at least 10 others. The Alabama bill sponsors say it was designed to be contested and ultimately make its way to the now conservative leaning Supreme Court. We can't get a heartbeat bill until we get Roe versus Wade revisited and turned over. When you have some 20 odd cases on their way to the Supreme Court, the chances are solid that one or more will be before the high court within a short period of time, meaning within about a year. And Mayor Cogliano of the Women's March says the law is a call for action. It's inconceivable and it's something that I think we have to be loud about if, you know, it is definitely at the time where we need to galvanize and show how much we actually care about our rights. UC Law Professor Hadar Avaram says supporters of the law really have only one agenda. And this law is in violation of Roe versus Wade, which is a clear indication that the purpose here is not for the law to stand, but for the law to be challenged in courts in the hopes to get to the Supreme Court. The Alabama bill has reignited the debate over abortion, many posting personal stories using the hashtag, you know me. Conservative televangelist Pat Robertson called the proposed law extreme. This is not the case we want to bring to the Supreme Court. California Senator and presidential candidate Kamala Harris says the abortion bill would disproportionately hurt poor and minority women. This is the same state and the same kind of people who also stand in the way of what women need in terms of a ban on pre-existing conditions to have access to issues like prenatal care. Like, they need to check their hypocrisy. The Supreme Court controls its own docket, and it may choose to hear other cases that chip away at abortion rights instead of overturning Roe versus Wade outright by ruling on the new law in Alabama. The court is expected to soon announce whether it will hear challenges to abortion laws in other states, including Indiana and Louisiana. Peter Dout, KCAL 9 News.